showdowns with shallow water sharks. Could have swallowed half of my body with no problem. Battling air-breathing jungle monsters. Just enormous, isn't it? I don't think I've ever touched a fish or seen a fish that big. Reeling titanic tuna with barracuda teeth. They can cut through the skin and even through the backbone. Woo-hoo-hoo! That's a fat one, boy! And wrestling powerful titans of the deep. It truly was. It was Moby Dick. For science, sport, and food, it's the most extreme encounters in our eternal quest for Hooked Monster Fish. Fishermen, tarpon are extraordinary prize fighters, one of the ocean's toughest opponents. Sweet, yeah, look at that. It carries a worldwide reputation of the king of all sport fish. They're so incredible, fighting fish. August 9th, 1992. The Gulf of Mexico near Galveston, Texas. Teenage angler Robert Lord Jr. is out with an afternoon fishing expedition. Their guide, Captain Mike Williams, one of the Gulf's most experienced tarpon fishermen. He knows the fish really well. He knows their patterns. He's a tarpon genius. The boat drifts offshore for two hours under the blistering Texas sun. Waiting for a bite, Robert works to remove a messy tangle from a fishing reel. Suddenly, a shimmering underwater surge shoots past the boat. It's huge. I thought this was, you know, Jaws or something. In my 14-year-old brain, I was thinking, okay, this was a gigantic white flash. It seemed like it was as big as the boat. You know, it must be a great white shark. I tell you, that's a big fish right there. Feeling a tug, Robert races to untangle the line. Got my fingers all intertwined in the fishing line, and if it starts pulling line off, it could have ripped off a finger. But before he gets far, the fish bites hard into the hook and tears off. Oh man, I got one, I got one, I got one! Just in time, Robert manages to free his hand. The line spools out quickly and cleanly. Get that rod down, get that rod down, Just let him go, let him go. But as the fish bucks and pulls, the young angler braces for the fight of his life. I was just, you know, having a huge adrenaline rush and my heart was just thumping. Watch that line, watch that line, make sure you reel that line up even. Trying to shake the hook, the tarpon leaps high above the water. There he is. Woo, big boy, big boy, see how thick that fish is? Airborne, it's even bigger than anyone imagined. That's the biggest fish I've seen all year right there, buddy. The tarpon seems to get stronger with each leap. The battle's on. Don't stop him, let him go, let him go. Okay, Robert, it's coming up, it's coming up, coming up. It's big, Woo! big, Can big. I, I was just super nervous that I was gonna lose it. Yeah, he's had his fish on one hour. Every time it jumps out of the water and shakes its head, you think it's gonna spit the hook out. After a muscle-burning 90 minutes, the fish shows no signs of giving up. Keep that rod down. The tug of war pushes Robert to the edge of his stamina and strength. My biceps felt like they were completely on fire. Every time you think you've got it pretty close to the boat, it's just gonna take off again and rip off more line. You're getting more and more tired and it just doesn't seem like the fish is. Oh God, my knees, just hang on what you got. Robert refuses to give in to dangerous fatigue. He knows if he relaxes for a moment, he could end up in the water. I was probably 145 pounds, so, you know, if, if I had you know, mishandled the rod or done something wrong, it definitely could have pulled me over. Take your time, you got him now, you got him. At last, the tired tarpon slows down. Working fast, Captain Mike maneuvers the boat to bring the fish alongside. 
Robert gives a massive pull. They've got it. The fisherman can't believe its size. You see something that's over twice as big as what you're expecting, and you don't really even know what to make of it. It's just, it's almost weird looking. It's so huge. But to measure it, they still have to get it safely to the boat's edge. Captain Mike takes charge. He gaffs the tarpon carefully. Done right, it'll keep the fish in place without causing serious harm. Getting it on board's a mission impossible. Oh, God. How are you going to get him in the boat? <laughs> Up close at last, it's massive. An incredible 44 and 3 quarter inches around and more than 7 feet long. Using a standard sport fishing weight formula, Captain Mike estimates the fish at 215 pounds. If he's correct, it makes it the largest tarpon ever caught off the coast of Texas. As we're calculating this thing on the boat, it's just like, you know, oh my gosh, we've got something that's you know, bigger than anything anyone else has ever caught here. Releasing the gaff, the mammoth tarpon swims safely away. He's gone. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, man. You catch a fish of that quality. It truly was. It was Moby Dick. This is the most impressive fish I'm ever going to catch in my entire lifetime.